Hey dreamers, it is Monday, it is a new week. We are on officially week eight. That means you only have two more weeks to go. You have made it eight weeks so far, so I'm so proud of you guys. So this week, we are talking about your circle. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys this quote, and I'm sure you've probably heard it before. Um, but this is a quote that really stuck out to me when I saw that this is the topic for this week. Um, and it's a quote by Jim Roth, and it says, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Um, and there's also, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And the reason why I love this quote um, is because I have seen it come true so many times. Um, I wanna make sure that this is actually working. Okay, you guys can see me. Okay, it popped up something different, I'm sorry. That messed me up for a second. But um, I've seen this tried and true throughout my own Sensi um, career and even in my friendships and my personal life that the closest people that I have, and I know it says the closest people are the, the ones that you spend the most time with, but it doesn't always mean like the people that you're physically in contact with. Um, backstory, you guys know that I promoted to Superstar Director last year in the springtime and I was kind of like in a place in my business because we were in a hyper growth and so um, some of the systems and stuff that I had in place were not working for me anymore um, at the level that I needed to be for my leadership to be a good leader to you guys but also to be a good um, consultant for my customers and the game changer for me was when I went to Summit during the fall and I linked up with some other superstar directors and when I linked up with them it was a sense of comfort because I knew that they were going through the same trials and tribulations that I was already going through in this business. Um, but the conversations that we had during Summit didn't stop at Summit. Um, after Summit, we created a group chat and these three girls are probably, I probably talk to them more than anybody else, um, even in my personal life outside of my husband. And the reason why is you know, we wake up in the morning and we share what we're doing, what we're working our business, what are we sharing with our teams? And there's, it's not always rainbows and butterflies. It, but this group chat and this group of women have became my safe place. Um, in a sense that if I'm struggling in my business, and trust me guys, I have the same struggles you guys, you know, I'm feeling stuck or in a rut or feeling like I'm spinning my wheels in a circle and I'm not getting anywhere. Um, this group of girls, one allows me to vent, which is great, but once I've gotten done and I've gotten it off my chest, what I love about this accountability that I get from this group is they're like, okay, this is the problem that you're facing. Now let's help you solve this problem. And that's what I love about this circle that I have now formed um, in my Sensi business because they're not gonna let me just sit here and you know pout or you know woe is me and you know I'm just a failure and I'm a bad leader and I'm a bad consultant or anything like that. They're like, okay, you've identified what um, you've identified the weakness in your business, um, whether it's the leadership qualities or whether it's you know the consistency of sales or recruiting or whatnot, and tell us how you're working. Um, and that's a big part in the accountability is, okay, you say this is your struggle. Um, tell us what you've already been doing so we can eliminate that because honestly what you're doing isn't working or it's not getting you the full results that you're wanting. And let's pivot. It's time to, okay, this is how you're going and it's not going in the direction you want. It's time to pivot. You know, I think of um, the meme of the friends with Ross on the couch and he's like, pivot, pivot. Um, and that's what, what we need to do in our business um, all the time. We need to be able to reevaluate what we're doing. And when you have that circle, the right circle, um, because sometimes you can get into a circle where if you are um, you know, the smartest or the most creative or anything like that, to where you're not able to gain anything from that circle anymore, I'm not saying abandon them, but it's time to upgrade your circle because your circle should be pushing you to be a better consultant or a better friend or you know whatever your struggles that you're doing but we're going to stick to the sensei because it's the sensei program um but your circle should be pushing and motivating you yes you can vent yes you can have the bad days we all have the bad days but your circle needs to help you win they need to be 
at the same level or at the level where you want to be. Um, we're mentors for a reason because once we start building our teams, then yes, it's okay to have, you know, to be in those different circles and for you to be encouraging and, and reaching down like the frog, the frog in the well warmer um, and the frog in the well story. You know, you've made it up to a certain level and it's time for you as a mentor to reach down and help people get up. But eventually you're going to need some frogs on another well to have their arm out and to help you overcome the hurdles that you have in your business. Um, and this one I feel like is, is kind of a touchy subject and I will be completely honest with you guys. I was kind of nervous on how to really chat with you guys on today's subject because there's no right or wrong answer when it comes to your circle um, and having your circle help you be a better person overall because your circle is formed of so many different people. So I can't sit here and say, you know, you need to have these people in your circle or you need to have these people in your circle. It's really going to be about trial and error because of the different personalities to see who's going to push you out of your comfort zone, who is going to hold you accountable, who is going to help you grow in the right direction and not grow in the wrong direction. Um, and why I say right direction or wrong direction is because just plain and simple, there's some bad apples out there, y'all. And we're in a business where you have to continue to grow because if you don't continue to grow and you become stagnant, you're going to eventually lose your business. We've said it time and time again, in order to be successful as leaders, you have to always be learning. Times are always changing. You have to keep learning new things or trying new methods. Um, and so if you're at that pivotal moment in your business and you're like, okay, I need to do something new. I need to try something new. What do you think is a, is a realistic time frame to really implement something and to give it a long enough chance for the ripple effect to really do its job? Um, for me, I used to only do three months and I've came to realize that three months is not long enough for me to try to put, implement a new system or a new technique. So I say six months. And again, it goes back to my circle and my group of, um, you know, telling them I'm stuck at this part of my business um, with the three legs of success. You, you have sales, you have recruiting, and you have, you know, personal, um, personal growth or self-care, whichever one it is. And you have to be self-reflective and be brutally honest with yourself and be brutally honest with your circle so that they know how to truly help you. And so you have to sit back because you are the biggest reason for success or failure. If you don't like the direction that your business is going, this is a hard it's something that you're doing. And sometimes that's hard. It's hard to take accountability of, you know, if I don't change what I'm doing, then I have nobody to blame but myself. You can have your circle and that can be your accountability to help come up with ideas and stuff, but ultimately it's on you. So until you take accountability for your failures, you're never going to be able to succeed. Um, and so once you've identified which leg of the three legs of success, and if you're not familiar with that, I can share the video. Um, Chloe Cox did a really good video breakdown of the three legs of success and how to um, divide your business as to what areas and in order to have a successful business you think of it like a bar stool a three leg bar stool and in order to have a successful business all three of those legs have to be you know balanced out and so you have the sales if your sales are slow then what things what new things can you implement in your business and if you're at a standstill that's okay you're not you're not gonna have all the answers I don't have all the answers um, but this is when you kind of lean heavily on your circle and why your circle matters because then you can talk to your accountability group and you can be like, you know, I'm really struggling with sales this month. What, this is what I've done. This is what I've been trying to implement or this is what I've used and really take into consideration what your group advises to you. Um, sometimes we're our own worst critic or sometimes we have these blinders on that, you know, we might think that this is a really good idea um, but our circle is going to be there to motivate and push us and sometimes criticize us. And sometimes, you know, it's really hard to take criticism from other people, but a lot of times it's done out of love because your circle wants you to win, just like you want your circle to win. 
um, and constructive criticism. There's a big difference between, you know, just downing and dogging somebody and constructive criticism, but ultimately it's up to you to open up your mind and to open up your heart and say, okay, these people are, are trying to help me in my circle and they're coming from a good place. I need to open with open ears because I, I need to make that pivot in my business. Um, so whether it's sales, whether it's recruiting, ultimately your circle is not going to know how to help you until you yourself have identified the weaknesses in your business. And then once you do, you go back to your circle and you're like, all right, guys, I am struggling with this or I'm struggling with my team. I mean, we have leaders on here and mentoring and sponsoring is not an easy thing. Um, there's different personalities and stuff like that. And sometimes you need to vent and be like, I have this trouble downline. I just, I can't get through to them. I don't know. They're struggling with this and that. What are some other ways that I can help this downline? Um, because when she succeeds, I succeed. So obviously I want her to succeed as well. And sometimes your circle can give you other outlooks and other perspectives that maybe you haven't thought of before. And that's why your circle matters because your circle, especially with Sensi, you guys tend to be like, you guys are dealing with the same goals and you guys are aiming for the same, you know, um, milestones and stuff like that. And they understand it. I can't tell you right now how big of a relief it is to have the circle of my summit girls, I'll just keep calling them summit girls, to be able to vent to them and for knowing that that group can productively help me. And what I mean by that is, can you imagine if you have four friends or five friends that don't sell Sensi, okay, and y'all are in a group chat and you're like, you know, I'm struggling, I, I just, I'm feeling defeated and they're like, well, what's got you down? And ultimately you're talking about your Sensi business and so you're trying to vent to these groups of people and they're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but if your group of circle involves sensey people, then they're like, I understand what you mean. I actually understand what you're going through, or I was actually already there, or they're going to be able to help you and be beneficial for you in the growth of your business. So that's why your circle matters. Yes, you might have a personal circle, but there's also going to be sensey circles. Um, sometimes those circles get blended a little bit, and that's okay too, but again, it's gonna be five people. If you're the best, then you need to find another circle. I'm not saying abandon the other circle, but just know that different circles are for different benefits. Um, and for this program, we really need to focus on finding and establishing a circle that's going to help us be better. And they're gonna want us to be better for the good. Um, and it's really hard. I'm t I will tell you guys right now, it's really hard to hear from other people and be like, oh, I don't think you should be doing that. Or, you know, you've been trying this for so long, you're spinning your wheels. You know, the definition of insanity is you keep doing the same thing over and over and over, but you're expecting different results. Why would you get different results when you haven't gotten them already? Um, it's when you go to the constructive criticism and it takes um, a little bit of, you know, inner work to be like, okay, like these people want the best for me. Um, and to not take it personal when they're trying to help you in your business. So finding your circle is huge in your business. And that's why we're focusing on it this week. Um, your homework will be of course, to watch this training. Um, we also have a special guest speaker coming in on Wednesday to still kind of talk about, uh, the circle. And then for this week's homework assignment, it is, I want to make sure I Give you the complete details it's going to be um, add an accountability partner so you don't have to find a whole circle but identify an accountability partner someone that you look up to in your circle and be able to tell us um, on the week eight homework post why you picked the person you did you don't have to say who you picked um, but we want to know why you picked the person that you did to be your accountability partner or your your new circle because um, it can definitely be more than one um, I know sometimes people are like, okay, I need that accountability partner. Or I need that new circle, but where do I find them? Um, they can be somebody on your team. They can be, um, another consultant in one of the larger consultant groups. Um, if you are, what other groups are there? If you're a director above, there's, um, the official director page that you can look into just making a post in any of those groups, whether you're, um, 
the sample group or, or whatever. There's so many all consultant groups out there that if you make a post, I am a star consultant and I am looking for another star consultant to be um, an accountability group with me. Start your own accountability group. Y'all don't need your leaders to start these accountability groups for you. Seek out, find people that are, I would highly suggest, at the same level as you are because then you guys are going through the same trials and tribulations. You guys are looking for the same milestones. Um, but put yourself out there and find those accountability groups or that accountability partner. And I'm telling you right now, it will make a world of difference in your business. So um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Other than that, I look forward to seeing the growth. Um, make sure that you guys are still working on the previous um, assignments uh, for to be able to finish the program. We have two weeks left, which means that you still need to get a recruit from last week all the way until the end of the program. Make sure you guys are still working on submitting your $200 a week parties so that we can have some graduates and celebrate y'all for your growth um, and graduating Hustling to Director. Um, I will talk to you guys all very soon. Don't forget Wednesday night is the Team Power Hour and I will see you guys then.